what not to do as a tourist if you're visiting Rome and especially if you're visiting Rome for the first time ever. Hi guys, I'm Anna. So today, typical mistakes of the tourists according to the locals, Romans. Tourists tend to make and I really want you to avoid making them when you're coming to Rome and especially for the first time. Welcome to Rome, we're in Piazza Navona. Let's take a walk and carry on. Number one, and ordering that large coffee. Research that Italian cuisine and it will enrich your trip a lot. In particular, don't expect coffee sizes to be exactly as your home. Ordering a large cup of any coffee here in Italy and in Rome included will make you stand out as a tourist. Also try to be more adventurous with fit when you're here just ordering pasta and pizza all the time. And of course familiarize yourself with the different types of coffee here. Another vital thing is your suitcase case. It was a really funny story. They approached me asking if I would like to add their product in one of my videos. So I told them guys do you want to have a real crush test for your product? and they accepted my challenge. Believe me, for any wheels, nothing can compare with the roads in Rome. So I decided to run a crash test for that suitcase. And the craziest thing, it survived. And it survived perfectly. It didn't let me down even once, so like, Zero complaint for the first time in my 10 years travel experience, I found a suitcase I don't complain about. It's super high quality, hard shell material, really light and strong with anti-scratch this amazing surface, which definitely provides really sturdy protection. I checked it. Sturdy, ergonomic, aluminium, telescoping handle for effortless mobility. Guys, I even dropped it right on the handle here in Rome. Twice. Nothing happened to it. And they really have very low noise, even here on the Roman surface, even in the evening. If you want to try it too, if you want to make your trips much more pleasant and super easy, please try this one. The wheels, mwah, love it amazing level eight thank you so much guys for producing such a great suitcase and for making my travel life so much easier and much more pleasant anyway this is my promo code again and all the links to this amazing thing in the description to this video enjoy guys if you want to get as much information as possible about your trip to rome you can always get my travel to rome guide i put all major things in it you will see the best places to visit the best places here to have local food to have best pasta in rome best pizza in rome everything in one place enjoy my guide i hope it will help you with your next or even your first trip to rome and of course let me know what you think about it i appreciate any feedback from you thank you so much guys point number two and when you have too much cash with you when you travel to Rome. Guys, you don't need to exchange a lot of dollars into local currency, which is Euro. Honestly, I've been in Rome for more than eight years now and I can't remember any occasion I urgently needed to use cash and I couldn't use my payment system. Be aware. Rule number one, don't put any valuables in your backpack, especially in that uh, pocket, which is so close to like other people around be aware of this and second make sure that uh, your handbag is always closed and i highly recommend you having this crossbody bag with a zip this is the best way to travel and keep all your valuables your biggest mistake number three will be visiting all these popular attractions in the middle of the day if you can fit it into your schedule i highly recommend you visiting those attractions early in the morning or closer to evening time let me tell you a little secret known only for the locals here the best time to see fontana di trevi is from 3 a.m to 6 a.m yes in the morning certainly before the shops are open and the tourists come out as it can be really too crowded during other hours but during those three hours you can have a full fontana di trevi 
just for yourself. Your mistake number four and you relying only on museums to see art in Rome. You are wasting your time and money if you only go to museums to learn about Roman history and culture and Roman art, of course, for no money at all or at least for significantly less than museum admission. You can see all this beautiful art, history and architecture in all these churches all around Rome. And they all contain these gorgeous paintings, for example, paintings of Caravaggio and, of course, Santa Maria del Popolo in the Roman famous square Piazza del Popolo. Your mistake number five, and you assume that all Italians, all Romans, speak English. You're far much better with the Romans if you learn a few words or key phrases in Italian. Believe me, even ciao and grazie mille much better than nothing. And if you want to learn some more useful phrases when you're traveling to Italy, you can watch one of my previous videos. You will learn quite a few of them and it's gonna be quite enough to impress the local and spark that conversation with them. Your mistake number six, and you're taking taxi everywhere in Rome. I guarantee you, if you do this, you will miss out on some incredibly beautiful parts of the city. Not to mention that you will spend no money. For every single video, my travel advice number one, especially if you're going to a brand new country for you, first, the most comfortable shoes and second, reliable suitcase. Those two items will save your life literally and will make the trip of yours so much easier, more pleasant and truly unforgettable. Your mistake number seven and that you walking only around Roma city center ignoring other beautiful neighborhoods around. Don't forget to explore some other neighborhoods of Rome for the chance to for the chance to experience that authentic Roman culture. My personal choice here would be Trastevere or Copede. Your mistake number eight, and you're visiting Rome only during summer months. It may seem like an obvious choice to visit Rome during summer, but aside from excruciating heat, you will be dealing with massive crowds of other tourists. Guys, my advice here. Try to visit Rome off seasons if you can. It might rain sometimes, like for a few hours, no more than that, but you will be definitely rewarded with much lower prices, smaller crowds, much friendlier waiters, and amazing discounts in the shops around. Your mistake number nine, and you really waiting in those long lines to see the attractions. If you want to see as many sites as possible during the trip, you'll be better off planning well ahead when it comes to the point of buying your tickets. And you better buy those attraction tickets online. Your mistake number 10, and you are seeing only those super famous attractions in Rome and nothing else. I totally understand while you don't want to miss seeing those attractions globally famous like Colosseo or Roman Forum, you also shouldn't overlook those out the radar spots the locals love so much. Located just outside of city center, Villa Doria Pamphili. It's a beautifully landscaped park with a stunning villa from the 17th century and you will not find many tourists here even when it's a high season. Your mistake number 11, and you expect public transport in Rome to run on time. Big mistake. If you're planning to take a bus or a metro in Rome, first of all, make sure you are aware 100% how public transport in Rome operates and always, always budget extra time for transport delay, especially if it's any sort of overground road transport. Your mistake number 12, aren't you eating only pizza and pasta in Rome? Also a big mistake. Of course, we have famous Roman pizza romana and famous pasta from Rome like carbonara and cacio pepe. Of course, you must try them, especially if it's your first ever time coming to Rome. And I totally understand you will be absolutely shocked how delicious that pasta is and many tourists have this trend that they can keep eating the same dishes for the whole length of their stay. Guys, please don't do this. Roman cuisine is so rich and so diverse. You can try lots of meat dishes and some variations of fish dishes. 
please give us a try. Just go to any very local restaurant or osteria and ask the waiter what they can recommend in order to try super, super Roman traditional food. They will gladly advise you and my advice now, go for it. Just go. And quick advice how to separate tourist trap restaurants from authentic Roman restaurants. First of all, no real Roman restaurant will be open for dinner before 8 p.m. Yes, in Italy we start dining quite late. So expect your dinner in Rome and all over Italy to start after 8 p.m. And also, if you open a menu in any restaurant and you see the pictures next to the names of the dishes, run tourist drop. Romans, as well as Italians, know exactly how their food look like. And your fatal mistake number 13. You are visiting Roma. You are visiting Rome in August. <sighs> Guys, I've been living also in Rome for more than seven years and August, even after seven years of constant practice, from 11 in the morning until 6 p.m., I prefer staying in the apartment with constant air conditioning on. So my advice, guys, avoid coming to Rome in August. It's excruciatingly hot. But if you come here during hot summer months, three things you must have with you all the time. A bottle of water, sunglasses, and a hat. And make sure you're using a lot of sunscreen. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this one too, my new one from Rome. Please let me know what do you think about it. If you still have any questions or you know exactly what sort of mistake you're going to avoid in Rome, what was the most surprising for you, you know exactly what to do, let me know in the comments down below. And for now, stay safe, be happy. And as our tradition goes, I will see you next week, hopefully again from Rome. I love you so much. Ci, vi ci vediamo ragazzi, a presto, ciao ciao, love you, bye for now.